Now my father, my father was working in Pratt and Whitney. He would come home from work, he would have a beer, sit down on the couch, read the paper and fall asleep. And the phone would ring twice. He'd get up, put his hat and mackinaw on and go out. Every single night, he'd come home, have a beer, lie down on the couch, read the paper, fall asleep, and the phone would ring twice. He'd get up, put his hat on and mackinaw and go out. Every night, he'd come home and the phone would ring twice. <laughs> and my mother, figured out it was a signal. <laughs> See how the plot is thickening toward the end of the play? We found out from the neighbors that her name was Miss Marion, and she wore garish clothes, and she had big harlequin glasses. Miss Marion will be played by Dame Edna. <laughs> I was happy that Dame Edna was in the family because that way I, I wouldn't be the oddest one. So my father left my mother. She screamed at him all the time. I don't want to go anywhere with you. You got no teeth in your mouth. You got no teeth in your mouth. <laughs> well, it's true, he didn't have teeth in his mouth. So I was making some money then on Broadway and I bought him a set of teeth. He put the teeth in, cocked his hat and left my mother. <laughs> my friend, Dr. Ben Coplick on Park Avenue made the teeth. My mother would never divorce him, but he married Miss Marion anyway, so he was a bigamist. <laughs> Boy, this is some plot, isn't it? 